Hey everyone, welcome back to the tavern. It's good to see you again. Go ahead what? and, uh... <laughs> what? Nothing. Oh, Everything's you're good. Everything's funny. Yeah. Uh, a few announcements, guys. Uh, tonight, we are still sponsored by Mats by Mars. They haven't gone away. Awesome. <laughs> and we have a little promo code for you to use. Uh, and it'll help you reduce the uh, the cost of their mats. So if you head over to the website, matsbymars.com, and type in triangle table as the promo code, it'll take a percentage off. The percentage, I'm not sure yet. I didn't look it up properly. <laughs> I'm sure I could. I'm sure I can probably do it right now, but it'll take a while. But um, anyway. It is a percentage. It is a percentage. Yes. So um, yeah, head on over there. Give them some, show them some love. Um, I actually have like six of their masks. I love them so much that you can write on them and they, have, they come uh, individually with instructions on how to care for them and all that. Um, they last a long time. Um, I enjoy them. Uh, check them out. Uh, secondary thing, uh, tonight we're going to do a D4 giveaway. So look for that in chat. The mods will be watching the names, gathering all that stuff. Be active. Make sure you're typing and all whatever Twitch uh, kind of uh, enforces you to do for being active. Anyway, um, the drink tonight is the Sea Hag Screwdriver. Yeah! It comes with a lovely little uh, crack in on top, so... Uh, have yourself some, it's downstairs. <laughs> and with that, we'll go ahead and dive right in. And where we left off last time, we had, uh, let's see, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm blinking out here. Uh, <laughs> we're on sea the hag. We're, okay, so they defeated a sea hag along with two uh, eel hounds. Uh, Highland decided to bring one up topside, and they're going to cook it later on tonight. Don Ash uh, later on went into the galley and was talking to Bruiser, the big troll, and um, he found out a few things off of uh, his kind of backstory and whatnot, and Ada joined him later on. There, Ada had disclosed to him that uh, she might know of a uh, little bit of a uh, map stuff on her end in regards to the uh, hidden island of Salanak as uh, as depicted on the map that Amalfi had found several weeks prior. And Ada's the drow, right? Ada's the drow bard. <laughs> yes, correct. The um, uh, Trixie had acquired a ship uh, in order for them to uh, take this journey. They are heading northward right now on a heading of, I believe, 330 Mark. If you nautical uh, nerds out there can understand, that's where they're at. Um, anyway, they're heading up to Masthead, the port of Masthead, as requested by uh, Altricia, the uh, the noble, Lady Altricia. And she had uh, circumvented a, uh, a few things with um, the captain in order to, to head over there. Um, they're going to go pick up a package, and <laughs> will then yeah, head rad. back <laughs> on their way to the island of uh, Salanak. So with that, the ship is creaking. Stay there. And um, let's go ahead and bring that up though. So all of you find yourselves uh, uh, down below decks, I believe, right? You even um, headed up, uh, headed down below uh, at this point after the uh, the fight with the Sea Hag. Um, you two are reading your books. Mm -hmm. uh, Donesh will eventually uh, make his way and knock on your door. <coughs> I'm apparently yeah. in a different room. Are you? No, I thought you no, were you're, in you're the same with. Room. Uh, we're both reading. Yeah. Didn't well, you kick me I? out of your room? I don't think so. Yeah, I thought you, you, you were sharing. You guys are together. Yeah, you're yeah. sharing. Normally, but sharing a room. Working, doing the knots and stuff before, and then you. But if you want to head down, deck. I can have but you head down. But you can come down. down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I was on deck last time that Correct. we finished, but if, yeah, I think no. If Donna is going to talk to you guys, then it'll be easy if I stay on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hang now. Um, I'll just show you into the door. Okay. okay. Cool. All right then. Uh, you'll you'll come down a little bit later. You may even. Sorry, just a moment. <laughs> As I'm now plugging in my Matt phones. By Mars. <laughs> hey. And it doesn't actually. Yes. Oh, 10%. 10% yes. discount. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm glad I was able to pull that up. Alright. Um, as good as Geico. <laughs> 
If it's good enough for Geico, it's good enough for Best That's right. <laughs> um, and uh, Don Ash will uh, uh, produce the uh, leathery sack that he had found on the Don Ash, put that away. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He was saying, <laughs> Jingles, I found this on the sea hag. I want to know if maybe you could identify what's inside. And he'll, he'll open up the bag, Trixie he'll reach in. Take over first. You guys see uh, dark little beings about the size of a, a bean. And um, yeah, yeah. They look, they're smooth. Um, hard. You, you try to touch them, and they have a hard yeah. consistency. They're not like rocks, but. They're hard enough. They, they feel organic in, in nature. Do they look? Are they shiny? Are they They're shiny. Like pearls? Not exactly like a pearl, but they have a sheen to them, a high gloss finish, if you will. Hmm. Are they pretty? Not particularly. All I need to know. <laughs> All right. In that case, I'll take it. it. I know uh, she's not interested. The smell that is produced when he opens it is also very, very uh, pungent. Well, yeah. Yeah. Of course. It, it still smells of the hag. Yeah. Who nope. Eyes are You water. both were both. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm earlier. Pressed to digitating the the lavender vanilla. <laughs> you got it. Yeah, air freshener. Just you. You seem to have to like do it every now and then. Like, it's just, like spraying <laughs> it. You're like, no, nope, that's okay. That's, it, nope. that's as nope. often as I yeah. need. Um. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I will. Uh, I'll look at Don Ash. Well, I don't know exactly what it is that you found in here, but uh, oh, are you offering me a bribe too? <laughs> I'll take this. Um. Well, thank you, Don Ash. <laughs> uh, he comes to pre- prepared with drinks. And <laughs> he knows how to. He's really, a full bar. Yeah, he knows how to work it. Um, so, I, I'm not 100 percent sure what these are off the cuff. I I don't know, but if you give me a little bit of time with them, I might be able to uh, discover some things. Oh, see if. Are, are we gonna hang on to them or should he? Cause... I feel like I am. You, you know, consider them. Yeah, yeah that, that's, that's a good I, idea, right? Back to me when you're finished. I and he kind of lurches a little bit forward and oh, his hand oh, on the no, threshold. I, can I turn him the uh, out Don't away sure. from me? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you do so. He he kind of lets you. I'm I'm on Are fine. You okay? it, I'm fine. I nope. Take a look at that, and yep. I'll get back yeah, to you. No, I see good. him stand behind run Trixie. down the hall there, and he's going to go to his <laughs> own quarters. <laughs> he's actually going to stay near the middle of the oh. ship as the ship is yeah. now starting to rock yeah. a little bit more. You're up uh, top deck, and you start to notice that there are uh, a dark uh, series of clouds mm-hmm. that you're not necessarily running to, or you know the ship is not heading to, but they seem to kind of loom over the left hand side as you're making your way and you can um you can hear the be- the sailors bellow as they're pull- pulling the rigging and all that they they, they also notice the dark formation right. up ahead and the waters are starting to get a lot more cho- choppy there you know the the ship is actually listing a good maybe um 15 degrees now up and down so this is actually caused dawn ash as you have uh, seen to just feel a little bit too queasy so and this is the DM's way of saying he's not going to be here tonight, so... <laughs> uh, 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 he's probably watching from afar. I don't know where he's at. To be he didn't even tell us. Bye, buddy. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Um, <laughs> he's doing some cool shit. He might have told us. Yeah, I didn't he's listen. doing cool shit like making a movie or no, I think web he's series us. or something. Is he watching Yeah, because he asked me earlier if we were streaming. Oh, Because it was oh, nothing right. up, remember? Well, yeah. Is he with, like, friends or family? Hey, Guillermo. <laughs> Guillermo Dorado. <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, he's not with us tonight, but um, we have a guest, so stay tuned for that. All right. What? No, yeah, I know. Is Our that first who, there guest. Here? Is that <laughs> who that person was? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you can you can see you know the uh, at the the helmsman begin to move his uh, the rudder so that he can kind of steer around it. You you can see land now onto the uh, the east. And you notice a few formations that you're maybe uh, familiar with. Those uh, are, um, who have been uh, on this coast would also be familiar with. Mm-hmm. You pass the city of uh, Sepalon and Galentia. And uh, at some point in um, the evening, you guys are called for dinner. Minus Don Ash, because he's still kind of dealing with the, the queasy stomach. And he doesn't really want the uh, onigiri sushi that has now been prepared <laughs> by the uh, the chef. Uh, was Muxy with you? Or is he okay? Mm-hmm. 
and I believe you actually had him uh, yeah, last on the tensor Yeah, he was disc. on the little disc. Oh, yep, he was on the little That's disc. Right. Now he's probably holding my book, but... He's not holding you. <laughs> he's, he's holding it. Prove he's it. holding <laughs> it very, very, like, proudly and professionally. I'm not having him use it as, you know... <laughs> <laughs> You guys head over to the mess hall, and uh, the smell is actually quite pleasant. It's 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 very um, you know it's a fishy smell, but um, he has prepared it with a lot of vegetables and whatnot, and uh, uh, he you know invites you in. You guys sit down at your tables, you enjoy the meal, and you guys head back to your respective rooms. Um, at this point, you guys have a full rest for the evening, so you go ahead and heal up if you if, if you need to. Oh, 14 of them. Yeah. So, Don Ash won't, unfortunately, sleep well this night, and he's going to incur another <laughs> point. Do you have any, like, uh, maybe, like ginger we can give him? Just, like, uh, there's stuff to quell his stomach, but uh, the fact that he was up all night mm -hmm. causing him to toss and turn will uh, give him another point of exhaustion, so... Uh, when he comes back, he'll be happy to learn that his character now has two points of exhaustion. I'm sure he oh, has God. some very fine words for you right now. He's watching. <laughs> All right, so you guys wake up the next day, and the waters are incredibly choppy as you guys try to, even yourselves, have a difficult time to, to sleep. You do find a, a respite in the rocking, though, eventually, and you will you wake up to a normal day. Uh, the the water is still choppy, though the waves have not, or the uh, the storm has not yet reached over uh, to where you guys uh, are. So the navigator is doing a pretty damn good job of keeping you between the storm and the rocky reefs below. And so he, you know, plotting with um, Ada, the navigator, the, the cartographer, and um, you guys are, are steering clear of that. At some point in the middle of the day, you guys notice. The the guy in the crow's nest begin to whistle. The bell rings again. Ding 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 ding. Once oh, more. Damn it! Not again. All hands begin to go on deck, and um, I assume uh, who's going up to on deck at this point? I will be. Yeah. Josh will go to see. All right. Uh, I was in the middle of doing a detect magic on the little pouch. Um, sure. And he just interrupts it again, and I'm just gonna straight and close the book and walk up. All right. So um, at this point, you can start to hear. Uh, um, as you guys head up, you guys hear the uh, the sailors actually start to bellow and point out in the far off distance, and you hear murmurs of, of pirates or, or something with a flag. You're not entirely sure, but everyone's getting ready. It seems everyone seems to be on high alert, and you can see the guy on the crow's nest begin to kind of climb down the mast on the rigging, and eventually come down and inform the captain himself. The captain now with a full-on spyglass reaching out. Oh, that is so cool. It's a lot larger than actually the ones that you have seen before. It, it, it's a good like four inches at the end, and it's uh, it's got a little bit of like a filigree uh, engraving on it. And it's a nice, it's a really really nice one. You can tell that he he keeps it in good uh, working order. As he looks off in this, uh, the distance, there puts it down. He hands it over to his first mate, who, who then will look it up. In terms of you goes, the flag that they are flying is one to be known as a pirate. Ship. Um, How we, far away are we from Master? Not entirely too far, but. Um, are they between Can we make us a run for it? We're going to attempt to do our best there. Um, we think our ship is going to be faster than theirs, but we're not entirely sure. We, From this distance, the fact that they have survived the uh, storm tells me that they are equipped for our harsh uh, environments and probably give us a, a good run for our money. We're going to do our best again. So they're not between us. They're, they're not between us. So okay. they, you can see that the, um, um, as okay. uh, the spyglass be, uh, gets passed around, um, you look out there and you can see that the, the ship is in a intercept course mm -hmm. that is uh, basically, you guys are both heading towards mm -hmm. uh, uh, the north. They are trying to pass, uh, cut you off at the pass, so to speak. And so you can see that the sails begin to um, creak and moan as they um, the, the sails begin to tight, new rigging down and, and begin to angle. Uh, and try to head like leeward into mm -hmm. the wind now, um, which is uh, uh, harder for them to to navigate. Yeah. But they're they're trying to get away from them. Yeah. Also, you can see that the the ship itself is moving closer towards the uh, the shoreline itself. And knowing earlier, uh, talking about the the reefs below, it's a, a difficult maneuver. It's yeah. something that they have to constantly be calling back and forth out to each other, um, marking the. Uh, um, uh, 
making visual contact with anything that might be below um, as a ship begins to, you know, again, still with the choppy waters. Can I, can I call uh, out to either the skipper or the uh, guy in the crow's nest and see if there's if there's anything that I could do to assist them? If there's anything uh, that could make their life easier? If I could use magical lights, for instance, to help them see the reef better or something, anything. Okay. Um, you notice that the um, the guy who was in the crow's nest is now on one of the main mast, uh, uh, Ricky. He's, he's actually kind of like perched up there. He's got his own. Um, smaller uh, spyglass, and he's kind of looking around there, calling out auras, and you know he sees you come up and goes, "Oh well, um, that's honestly a, a thing for the captain. I'm, I, well, what can you do? Actually, well, what can you do? Uh, I can, I can, uh, I can provide light. I can, I can give you light. I um, can, uh, I, I, I can see things pretty good. I can provide an extra uh, hand for you know little little things. It's not very strong. I, you know, I, I don't, I don't use the gym very often. Um, I can fix any uh, ropes that break. Uh, I can that that I we'll need that that I can head do. over to the, the starboard side. Uh, I think you'll be yeah. The, the rigging tends the rigging tends to get taut a lot uh, in these rough seas, and the fact that we have to go leeward into the the rougher seas uh, near the shoreline means that we may actually slap them. So head on over there, and uh, you'll get more orders as you, you go. Uh, yeah, yeah, skipper. Awesome. Does he know which Great. direction Great that is? I am. <laughs> Make him tell <intelligence> check. <laughs> is it? Wait a second. That's is an that added 11. <laughs> oh, Jesus, oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Hang on. That was the one from the uh, the awesome candle. That is a nine plus a plus a. Yeah, cantrip candles. Uh, that's an 11. 11. Um, you did see him point, so... Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Um, was I nearby to hear that conversation? At sure. All? Okay, um, I'm just going to follow you as I... Okay, go great. See um, I can do to you can already see uh, Bruiser out there already kind of manning the ropes and all that, kind of putting a, a large spool of rope around his arm, getting ready to start climbing. And you see um, the, the goblin that was with him earlier already on the mast pulling a, a, a lead of rope. So right. you guys can go ahead and start helping there. Yeah. If anything breaks, you pull it together, and I'll fix it. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. All right. As you guys continue on, and, and you can see that the pirate ship is heading closer and closer, and you can actually those of uh, who are um, you know every now and then if you want to go check with the uh, spyglass, you'll notice that the flag has like a red fur de lis on a black background. It's not the Jolly Roger that you guys are mm -hmm. normally. I've run over to my post where I was yesterday, mm -hmm. like working with, mm -hmm. the, with the ropes and everything. Is there anyone that I recognize from the day before that I can ask about? Oh, the... um, yeah, sure. Um, um, there's a guy called... Who did I have you? You're working with Fernando. <laughs> <laughs> that is his name now. Now, now that Pierre must find you, somebody's got to go. I go and say, hey, Fernando, uh, have you dealt with these kind of pirates before? Do you recognize this flag? Aye, they're the ones that uh, sacked the city of Quintessa 50 years ago. They did what? They, they sacked the city. They of sacked the city. Completely, yes. Uh, luckily, Quintessa was uh, well uh, armed and uh, held back the pirates, but uh, yes, uh, 50 years ago. Uh, almost to this day, they uh, they came in and tried to take over the whole entire city. So, so what sorry. happened? Did they <laughs> fight them off? The oh yes, we 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 uh, took down a, a good number of the ships, but they uh, well as you can see there, they a few of them survived. And so are, you fought them before? You yes. Were part of that. Okay. Oh no, no, I, I I did not. But uh, um, those amongst <laughs> all this guy. <laughs> Fifty years ago. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, master. Well, good night, I know eh? we all get pretty old, don't we? <laughs> oh, that's. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> well, some of us are like Excuse fifty years me. old, not me. But, uh, I'm very young. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're you're quite young too. I'm actually curious. Yeah, yeah. It's it's these two that are old. old. We're ancient. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so. I, Okay, so these pirates, do they have any spe specific speciality, like in terms of fighting or what they like to do? Uh, they're good at raiding and they are good at boarding ships. They um, have enough uh, accoutrement uh, amongst them to basically bring the ships close together, uh -huh. hooks, tie them off, get what they need, 
and in some cases kill everyone on board. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's make sure we don't get close yeah. then. How many people would you say would probably be on that ship? How many pirates? Um, and he takes out his own. Everyone's got a spyglass. <laughs> just when Helvet can jingles, hold out his magnifying glass, just so he doesn't feel left out. <laughs> sure. Um, while you fix broken While I'm fixing things, <laughs> see if I can... <laughs> sure, you can go ahead and bring out your... Your piss ant little <laughs> magnifying glass. Uh, did, was... Make us look cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, he he goes on to say that Grab well, your vizier. <laughs> we'll we'll do our best not to get let them uh, uh, get on board, of course. But uh, should they get within distance, we might have to fend them off. And he looks at your swords and like I can tell that you're. Uh, you're a woman that can take her care of herself, so uh, I don't have to worry about you, right? I like, I like a good fight. Good. I can tell. <laughs> All right. Bless so you. Good. And uh, again, the workers are just going back and forth and hitting the uh, the main uh, hoist there, moving it back and forth. The ship still. And it's, it's kind of difficult as you're kind of walking on the ship, going back from a post to post. And you're having difficulty kind of keeping your balance. It, it's it's getting a little bit rougher now. You can see the waves now currently on the shore, creating large white caps and hidden. And with uh, um, you can hear the echo coming off of it from the waves crashing. Um, where were you? you I'm helping. Helping. Okay. Helping with All right. Cool. Several hours actually go by, and the ship has gotten closer. You seem to be heading a little bit faster than it. Good. And. Yeah. Eventually, at some point, you start to notice that the ship begins to kind of just trail off and go, we're done. We're not, <laughs> we're not going to really... Tracy will turn to the captain and say, good work, captain. Thank, thank your, uh, your host as well. Uh, well done. <laughs> yeah, high fives all around. He jingles <laughs> high fives himself. He's a little lame cat. <laughs> <laughs> no, he gave me a magic high five. Okay. <laughs> That's right. I was too lazy He's to sending walk it. the five yeah. feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just like to use your magic. So, I do. Um, and then Trixie would like to go up to um, Mr. Jingles at some point and, and bring him aside. Okay, Back, great. Possibly downstairs. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Have you decided to be civil yet? Are we still upstairs? I don't care where you, we are. You decided <laughs> to be civil? <laughs> that, that, no. <laughs> um, I will not be getting off the boat with the master. Um, I'm sure you know why. So Fair you enough. are going to be tasked with getting the package. And staying out of trouble yourself. So that uh, our story is straight, do have we figured out what the package is? I don't think we need to tell anyone. Okay, just making sure. It's All a right. package that is part of our mission, mm -hmm. and we need to pick it up and be on our way. But um, you and Hylene and possibly Amalthea, if she wants to go, will be the only ones getting down. All right. Unless the captain needs supplies. Fair enough. Well, I do have an idea of something that I might be able to acquire while uh, I'm in town, but... Acquire quickly. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That's right. All right. Yeah, uh... You know what? Never mind. I, I thought I had a question, but uh, I, I was incorrect. I did not actually have a question. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, carry on, my lady. And Jingles will kind of walk off and whistle. <laughs> <laughs> So for the next three days, for the most part, the ship is still in choppy waters, the, the gray clouds to the west of you. Um, they seem to span a very, very large, a long distance. Uh, and for the next three days, nothing uh, out of the normal sea uh, faring uh, life happens. You guys are able to uh, rest uh, each night. Uh, Don is still getting very, very sick of the sea. And on the uh, three days later, uh, so now five days into this journey, you hear. Oh damn it! Not again. One bell this time. And you can hear people start to kind of like move slowly, but not you know, not uh, in any kind of hurried pace. Yeah. That's a good bell. I think so. No one's running. I would assume. You can see people start to kind of like pack large. Uh, Haversacks and, and, and bags and stuff like that. Oh. Lanto! <laughs> Lanto! <laughs> Trixie will take Mr. Jingles and we'll go talk to the captain. Alright, and uh, the captain is uh, on top, uh, uh, on deck, right next to the uh, the helmsman, 
and as you can see, they're they're oh, again spyglasses <laughs> out, full on, and, and don't you do can, it. <laughs> <laughs> and she you, will say that to him. Goes to <laughs> <Okay. reach for. laughs> and you guys, as you guys head on up, uh, just you two so far. And look, do you want to? I mean, you're in the same room. You're, yeah, 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 you guys you are in the same room. Okay. Yeah, okay, great, and you as well. All right, as you guys head up on top deck, you can see the land now much closer than it was the previous uh, several days, and you can see the city of Masthead grow larger and larger. The old familiar city that you know pretty well, and that you uh, have been to before. It's not completely familiar uh, to you, but you know of its existence, and you know of its... Uh, um, normal dealings, I guess. Uh, it's a trade uh, mercantile uh, city built in this huge, huge crater. And you can see the captain out there going, he's, he's, he's talking to the helmsman and he sees you approach and goes, hello, good day my lady, sir. Good morning, captain. Good morning, captain. Good morning. As you can see, we're heading up close to the port of Masthead. How long until we arrive, um, Couple hours, not too long. <coughs> All right. Um, some of my crew will be getting down. We would like to keep this as brief of a stop as we can. Understood. We've done a phenomenal job, but we are a little bit behind. We just—they will be picking something up very quickly, and I will actually be remaining on the boat. Understood. How many hours do you require for the, uh, the acquisition of the package? As, as few as possible. As possible. We're hoping to keep it one to two. Two hours then. Two hours. My my boys need a little bit of a yeah, <coughs> stretch their sea legs, so yes. to speak. Pilot right. A, for uh, uh, for your leg of the trip, do you think two hours will be sufficient? I believe so. All I right. don't have any particular business in masthead, so. Very well. Two hours it is then, Captain. Fair enough. And he says he t uh, whispers something into the first uh, mate's ear, and you can hear the the first mate fellow. Um, basically out, out to the, the entire crew who's now kind of standing up and still um, making sure that their packs are tight, and, you know. You get shore leave, two hours! Aye, two hours, two hours, aye, aye. You see they're, just, they're all excited, that they're like <laughs> perched on the starboard uh, bow now. All, every, every so often you see if one of the sails kind of pull up, you know, their spyglass. These are fishermen, right? So they're not used one. to being on a ship this long? Yeah, Okay. yeah, yeah. But you have That's paid pretty well, so. I want a spyglass. <laughs> Well, you're in Masthead, so you I can know, get right? I, <laughs> I was just going to say. I can't afford one right now. No. They're expensive as shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so you guys uh, approach the uh, port of Masthead, and uh, I want everyone to roll a perception check. Okay. 15. 15. 15. 21. 22. 15. 14. 6. You two notice off on the far far northern uh, west uh, uh, part of the ocean, the spirit of Contessa moving slowly away. Sorry, I don't see it. What? I know. <laughs> far, <laughs> I'm far just, off. I'm so in distracted right now. Quintessa, that was, <laughs> that was the ship. Yeah, that was okay. Randall's ship, Randall's. correct. Randall's. Douche bag That's That's good to see. Randall's. Poor Don. Did see that twice? I did. Poor Randall. Randall. <laughs> 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 just keep Poor rubbing Don. that in. Oh, my gosh. Just to a quick stop, I think, that we can catch up. Or at least not be far behind. Mm -hmm. Still looking through my magnifying glass, which is why I'm not seeing Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking around the city, very interested in Are we on shore now? Not yet. So you guys are, are approaching. You can see uh, a few dock hand workers. They're throwing mooring lines over to the uh, the uh, onboard uh, crew, and they're tying them down and whatnot. And you guys eventually um, uh, moor the, the ship into the dock. You see a bunch of other ships moving in and out. And first thing you guys notice is in uh, Masshead, Huge city built with many canals, many waterways that lead in deep into the city. Uh, again, built into the crater that was made by a meteorite impact long, long time ago. Is it like Venice gondolas and stuff like a that? A little bit like that, yeah. Uh, like the gondolas are, are not. <laughs> no, <laughs> no gondolas, but um, um, there's plenty of rowboats that. that uh, have that similar uh, okay. uh, aspect to it. No, nothing really. No sweet. guys like singing romantically. Mm, nothing. <laughs> okay. um, one thing you also <laughs> notice: first time for everything. You could be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours. <laughs> Those of you that uh, head off, as you try to find your way around, it's a bit overwhelming. Uh, there are many streets and paths to take, many alleys and uh, tunnels. 
on multiple levels. The cobblestones have turned a dark brown due to centuries of grime and smoke that has basically stained it. As you walk the streets, you notice very little foot traffic, actually. On an occasional dog barking in an alley over, most of the citizens have their heads pointed down to see where they're, they're stepping. The few outdoor shops that you see aren't calling potential customers in. The steam and smoke rise from half-timbered buildings all around uh, the trade district and the lower masthead, which is where you're currently at and right now. The canals line almost every part of every street. Bridges and tunnels, and it's very, very confusing. Very gloomy. Yeah. Very I see. Gloomy. I see why you didn't like this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the only reason. All right. So, uh, who who's gonna pick up the fake package? I will be procuring uh, at least part of the package. Okay. If we have a couple different, you know, parts of the package, that's right. totally cool. Because we have to come back with something in a brown paper paper bag or, or similar mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. make it look like we actually have. Mm -hmm. So, if you have any business, I have an idea of where I am going to be heading. Uh, I also would like to go off and make a private purchase. Mm -hmm. so I, I also have an idea of what I will be doing. Alright. But we can assume that you will meet us back at the ship? Uh, yeah. Yes. Ship is, okay, so we're using the ship as the meeting point then. Yes. Okay. Alright. The uh, first mate is there again, uh, holding her little whistle. She goes, again, two hours. Mm -hmm. She kind of nods you guys off as you guys head out. And you see a few, um, actually, Don Ash will um, head topside. He's going to wave. <laughs> <laughs> Don Ash will actually be uh, waving the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> he's waving at the captain. <laughs> Um, he's actually being brought up by uh, Bruiser, the troll, oh. accompanied uh, alongside uh, Ada, the bard. And uh, you can kind of hear him on a uh, big Ondo Bruiser walking around and going, Oh, don't worry, mate. I'll take you to my favorite watering hole. Oh, and God. you can see them walk off. And you can see him, Don X, still kind of limping a little. He's you know just kind of leaning on the uh, the body of uh, uh, Bruiser. Because I'm okay with missing this. Should never <laughs> let them into a tavern. They're going to die. Mm -hmm. I just kind of wall my eyes and look at us. Okay. Right. I, I want to head into like the markety place where there's some stores. I'm looking for like a knickknack. You got it. Um, there are several the the, the kiosks that you use. see in the lower uh, mm -hmm. masthead region, the mercantile uh, uh, mercantile west actually. Um, let me go ahead and show you a map of where you are. So this is masthead. This right here is the crater uh, crest, and so this is the the outside edge of it. You guys are, uh, the boat is moored in the docks here. You have basically just gotten right to this area right here. This area right up front would have a lot of the stores, the kiosks, and uh, uh, merchants. Again, none of them are really calling out. So but they, if they see you uh, make eye contact, they will kind of like brighten up a little bit and go, Oh, um, yeah, hi. Hi, how are you? Doing well. Um, I have a question. Do you have any kaleidoscopes? Kaleidoscopes? Yeah. Oh. Um, no, I don't, but um, he kind of points over uh, just like three uh, shops down. You can see a, a bunch of them actually just kind of like mm -hmm. hanging on the uh, outer edge of the, the, the awning. Cool. It just must be the worst so, company if she's like looking for kaleidoscopes to brighten her day. <laughs> so I'm going to go over to the other store. And the I'll guy, be like, I see you have a fine collection of kaleidoscopes. Oh yeah. Um, would you would you like would you like one? Uh, I I can. Th this red one matches oh. your 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 uh, eyes. I think. Yeah, uh, it's very colorful. <laughs> <laughs> so I take. I'm gonna look through it and it's describe it to me. <laughs> All right. So as you you pointed at uh, one of the random uh, half timbered mm -hmm. houses, you notice the mirrors there. They tend to you know go in infinite on either side, and. Unfortunately, the view itself is normally a drab uh, kind of view, but it tends to reflect and refract all that light, and it, it's, it's neat to look at. Is there any little bits of color, like, sometimes they have little bits of glass sure. in it and Sure, and, and, and so the, every every so often as you kind of turn it, mm -hmm. then you know a little tiny rays of light will kind of shoot up and around. Again, unfortunately, the, the, the main viewport uh, mm -hmm. uh, out to, that's accepting all the light, is showing you the poor uh, city of Masthead, which right. is, you know... 
Do you have any that have maybe like little bits of, you know, little colorful shards of glass inside? To oh, make oh, yes I do. I have a green one, actually. Oh, let me take that one. This one matches your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Good save. <laughs> <laughs> so I look inside. Mm-hmm. And yeah, this one is a, a, a lot better as far as the, the quality goes. Um, you can tell that even um, the outside uh, has mm-hmm. been uh, cared for enough that there is mm-hmm. painting on it, and it, you can see a uh, ship scene, like a naval battle mm-hmm. uh, scene on the outside. And um, uh, as you look through it, mm-hmm. the the like a dichroic glass mm-hmm. can be seen out in the very front. So even if you're pointing at a view, it's not showing you the view; it's showing you the colors that are coming in, and then it's all bouncing off all the, the mirrors and whatnot. All right. How much is this one? Fifteen silver. Fifteen silver? That's a bargain. I'm going to uh, get it. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And he'll take the, the money and you know, give you the thing. And he actually gives you a little tiny bag to put it in. It's just a little tiny, like a burlap sack yeah. that has a little drawstring. Can I actually, this is a weird question, can I give you like five more silver and just get like an extra bag with like some paper in it as if I had... As if it was a package, oh, but it's not um, really a package. A package? Um, well, I have a, a leather bag you can trade me for if that's what you wish. And well, it's more to make it look like I'm carrying like a package, but it's not actually a package. Oh, um, so he looks... It can just be another one of these little, you know... He pulls out a wine box on the very, very bottom and he goes, well, I mean... He slides open the, the, the case and he takes out the bottle, puts that down. Mm-hmm. Will, will this do? Well, can I, I mean, does it look like a wine? It shouldn't look like a wine. Oh, I mean, you can wrap it in, in, in some um, some uh, uh, cheese paper, if that's what you wish I have. Yes, that, that's what right. <laughs> He takes the okay. kaleidoscope, puts it in, mm-hmm. slides the lid, and begins to wrap. No, 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 no. I don't want the kaleidoscope. I wouldn't expect extra. The kaleidoscope is for a separate purpose. Oh, I'm, I'm I would like the, the so, I'm sorry, I didn't it's express it's myself sorry. clearly. Well, here, he hands I, you I the, the, the bag yes. again yes. with the, the kaleidoscope. Yes. I want to make a fake package, basically. Nothing inside it. Nothing inside it. <laughs> Not weird at okay. all. <laughs> uh, okay. Like totally the super complicated suspicious. orders just when you go out to like a restaurant. Sure, around. sure. No, yeah, no, I, I got that. Yeah. Um, he pulls up some like um, like Making weird oily, uh, like waxy uh, butcher paper, and he kind of like starts, begins to smear it, <laughs> wraps it, and he eventually takes a little bit of twine and puts that over it. Um, is, is that? That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Take it. I give him the extra five silver. All right, thank, thank you. Uh, come, come back. Uh, I, I will if I ever find myself back here again. Thank you. He, he just stares at the now <laughs> twenty silver in his hand. Oh, oh, Gave him the best charming smile in a way, but then I just basically head back towards the boat. Okay, great. Uh, um, as you head back, you can see uh, uh, the tavern that uh, Don Ash has walked into. Mm-hmm. Just you can see the trail end of that. Uh, as you can see, the big bruiser walking in right behind him. I shoot him a death stare and then I just continue. <laughs> they don't see it. The they don't understand. Yeah. No, they go, I don't know. Of course not. This is my own question. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I am going to go find the local temple of Athena to go pay my respects. Make an investigation check. As even though you know the city of Masthead, you're not entirely sure where that would be. Two. <laughs> Two? It takes you a a good portion of the two hours and 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 you're you, you begin to ask people and they kind of don't even want to really talk to you they just kind of like continue walking like what are you about and after a while you take a look in the skyline of the buildings there and you notice a, a kind of like a wing just a small wing but it's white marble and you figured maybe that's where that is a part you know, maybe that's where I'm, I'm to go to and um, you try to navigate the streets again. They, they kind of take you underneath the tunnels and over canalways. And um, after uh, about 30 more minutes, near the end of the, the two hour mark, you find the Temple of Athena. It's the only clean building in the entire city that you have seen so far, <laughs> uh, beyond the ones that are um, the uh, on the here. edge. <laughs> of the, uh, the city, which are, it's kind of too far out of your range. There's a lot of, uh, the, um, the, the marine layer is kind of, like, take, making it a little bit hard to see above, uh, to the, the higher, uh, uh, upper levels of, of uh, masthead. So, you head up to the temple, there is a, a person dressed in white robes, only the face is visible, 
comes, she, uh, it's a she, and she's sitting down on the, um, the outside there on a the chair. So I approach her and I kneel as is customary. She stands up and bows. Good day to you. Good day to you. I came simply to pay respects to her. Enter. It's good to see someone else of the faith around these parts. And she sits back down. You walk into the temple. It's dimly lit in, in the first part of it, and the smell of incense wafts into your face, and it's a very sweet smell. Um, everything's really calm. You can hear chimes blowing in the wind from some unknown location, as it, every little chime echoes throughout the entire antechamber there. You can hear people walking in the back, and eventually a, uh, another lady with a uh, similar robes, with a gold trim now, holding a large book, notices you, closes the book, puts it down on the altar, and heads over to you. Yes, can I help you? I was just simply looking for a place to kneel and to speak with her. Understood. Walk this way. And she leads you into another chamber. Uh, and uh, there you see a bunch of uh, like pews, but not with the, the backing. It's more like you can kneel down. There's small, little tiny cushions on the ground there. And you can see another person uh, kneeling down already in prayer to the statue of Athena, a large golden statue out there with their arm held out, their spear in hand, and on, in the other arm, a large owl with its wings fully spread out. You can see the... Uh, the the normal feather crested helm on her and the shield right below her feet. You can see this, uh, um, what looks to, to you like a, a, an elf kneeling on the ground there. And with that, we're going to go and call in our guest, our first guest of the campaign. Yeah! Ooh, yeah. Oh. Um, you're going to have him head over there. Remember? Oh, I thought. No, no. We okay, didn't I'm that. sorry. Oh. But I'm taking up <laughs> all this space. Already. <laughs> Which is why I asked you earlier. Sorry. <laughs> 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 so nice to have company in here. So, so welcome, Darnell. Hey, to our little what's up, Darnell? Hi, where am I looking at? It's just. Uh, uh, this is the camera, oh. but you don't have to. <laughs> Pretend oh, yeah. they're not there. <laughs> yes, yes, pretend, yes. <laughs> and the lady will uh, um, kind of bring you up to right next to him and say, um, what is your name? I'm sorry. I am Hylene Leodon. Hi oh, Leodon. Oh, I know that name well. Yes. Oh, it's good to see a, a Leodon. I kind of like shrink back. I'm like, yeah, yeah you know my name real well. <laughs> um, uh, Terry here was praying. You see now a, a, a full... Elf uh, male kneeling on the ground, pink skin, really pointy ears, and he is in uh, prayer. After hearing his name, he kind of perks up a little bit and uh, notices you about to uh, kneel down. Uh, this is Terry. He is a paladin. Uh, come to uh, basically seek the trials. Um, we are open to uh, uh, having anyone else complete the trials if you wish. Uh, this is his chosen path that he wishes to, to go forward. Is this something you are uh, considering as well? I, I hadn't thought of it today, but uh, I don't. How long do they take? Not too long. Unless you die. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I, I will join the trials. Excellent. Terrence, are you ready? Yeah, I'm, re I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> she, um. Terrence. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Hi, Lenny. Terry. Terry. Yeah, Terry. Terry. Thank you. Don't mind the pink skin. I don't. Or the pointy ears. Some people would call me out by my pointy ears and pink skin. I know you're not one of those people. You notice that Hi, Lenny herself has pointed ears, not as sharply pointed as yours, but. Hey, you. Too not as pointy, but yeah. also <laughs> I'm halfway there. Yes. <laughs> oh, Half are you? Oh, yeah. oh, what's that like? I. Uh, it's interesting being part of two worlds. Yeah. Not fully one or the other, but. Uh, I hear you. Yeah. 
I'm like elf, but it's pink too. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Never feeling blue though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> so these trials. Yeah. Um, you can see her actually just kind of wait for you, and then opens the door as you're finished there, and you see a uh, a long hallway, and there are a few uh, altars on this side every so five feet or whatever and there's a few uh, pictures of, uh, or depictions rather drawings of different situations different like just um, other trials that the other paladins may have or may not have uh, done or other deeds uh, notable uh, deeds that have been worthy of praise and whatnot and she leads you down to the hallway here is where your trials will begin I need you to trust in Athena, her wisdom, her clarity, if you're ready. And before you, you guys enter a room surrounded by water. <laughs> Jehovah begins with an I. <laughs> <laughs> Let me actually put this down just to make it nicer there. Ooh. Sorry, everyone, for the sound. Let's just place that more water. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. It's a little dry. Fa fantastic are. architecture. Though. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and See tilt this. Do you want me to turn go. octopod? No, that's, that should be fine. It's really quite oh, a little that story. actually looks legit. Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. You say that, so I'm surprised. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are right there. The first trial. You must cross this room here. But know that by stepping on the wrong stones, you will get shocked. You must move one stone at a time. The trial begins when you step on the first stone. Terence? When you say shot, like, like we can die doing this? Oh, absolutely. Oh, several have. Oh, you said shot. I thought you said shocked. shocked. Okay. Shocked. Okay, that is what you <laughs> wait, said. Wait, okay. Were you shot or shocked? Shocked. Okay. Like, I mean, like, electrostatic. Oh, shock. Like, not like surprise. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 That's not fun either. But Ooh. okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, ladies first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna look at this board. <laughs> Yeah, that's tricky. Are you just gonna? You know, let me see if I if I got enough room, I'll close that in more towards you because that's not fair. <laughs> I assume this uh, lady's watching us. Yes, she's currently watching you guys. Just bare, you know, within. Uh, there we go. Note color. Cool. Alright, so I'm going to try putting my foot, just my foot, on the square. Alright, you put your foot there, nothing happens. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to actually have you, I'm going to move it like that so you can still see the symbol. Oh, that seems easy enough. I'm going to take one giant step forward. Yeah, a boy. All right. oh, you step enough. forward. Oh, nice. Right. Easy. I'll take another giant step forward. Oh, God. <laughs> giant step forward. Nothing happens. This is easy. Okay. This is an easy. This is an easy test. I'm gonna tell you, this is an easy test. I'll take another giant step forward. As you step forward, <laughs> ah! <laughs> and you take. Ah, oh, no. oh. uh, that hurts. I don't like that. It's not an easy test. I was wrong. You take a whopping. Five points of electricity Ooh. damage. As, uh, as as soon as you step on it, you're crazy. yeah, it, <laughs> ah, it, it almost it puts your your body into like a weird uh, uh you know uh, muscle spasm uh, uh, jerk <sighs> knee jerk reaction if you will. Shape and color. All right, so then I am gonna try stepping forward onto that square. As you do so, you too oh take. Boy. Okay, so not that square. <laughs> you take four points of uh, shock damage. Four points of shock damage. Shock damage. Here it is. 
that's not the technical term, but I'm using it because I like okay. it. That's <laughs> okay. Shock, shock damage. Shock? Yes, shock. Right, it's Better than the alternative. That's true. <laughs> I'm going to have you guys... I'm going to... I wonder if there's an easier way to do this. There probably is, and let me... Da-da. Boom. Hmm. I don't have a pink one, darn. <laughs> that one... Being shocked hurts. I don't like that. <laughs> I do have a pink one. Okay, this will represent okay, so we, bottle caps. Okay, these two are fine. Mm-hmm. I'll re- this will represent where you're okay. currently at. And then you, which one? Which one do you want? Blue. I'll give you blue. Sure. Oh, that's ingenuity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that's why he's the DM. There you are. That's where you are. So good. Don't let the color fool you with the color of the tiles of what you were at. Yeah. It just happens to be that way. <laughs> okay. I think I cracked the case. <laughs> I think I cracked the case. I'm going to say, step to the left. Step to your left, so over here. <laughs> yeah. Two hops now, yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, your boy okay. Terry's on it. I'll take a step forward. Step this way? Yep. You take... Oh, so close. Eight <laughs> points of shock damage. Oh. Ah. Oh and you, you basically can, can, uh, um, you, you kind of collapse into the ground. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God he's a pal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to step to, I guess, up for me. Is this I'm, way? Yeah. All right, nothing that's happens. That's where he was. Okay. He was on that one. I got that shocked, one got though. shocked. Okay. Can I step diagonally? This one here. Yeah. Yes, you may. Oh, right. what? Why did Terry not think of that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that where you were? I didn't step diagonally. No, that's no. fine. I didn't realize. Okay. Oh, because you, you shocked. You got. Um, right. Yeah. You, you went forward. And you got shocked. I try stepping one more that way. This one here. Mm-hmm. You take <laughs> two points of shock damage. <laughs> okay. This thing's shock damage. All right, Terry's figured it out. For real, for real. This <laughs> for real. This for real, for real. All right. <laughs> Stand up, put my hair back down. It's <laughs> and you can move it if you if you wish. We'll take, I'm gonna be very cautious about this. Oh, is there a shot? You got shot too. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Athena, please don't shock. <laughs> Athena don't won't shock don't you. Don't smite me now. <laughs> oh. Sweet baby Jesus. Okay. That guy. He keeps making appearances. <laughs> Nothing. Me. <laughs> Nothing. Man. Nothing. Uh-huh. Terry's cracked the case. All right. Uh-huh. I'm like, psst, psst. All right. You should go where I'm. Okay. Me. Come to me. So then I'm going to go back to where I was. Mm-hmm. And you went there, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go there. And then you went that way. Yeah. And then that way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that way. Right. Well, he's in, he's okay, in well, that okay, square. Okay. I'm not going to stand on you. So. <laughs> oh. I'm in, mm-hmm. So I got to. Okay. I got to go. Okay. Through. So. You, you just want to go ahead and just. I'm wondering. I mean, I've been shocked twice now. Okay. You've only been shocked once. That's true. So if you want to switch, that's fine. I have a theory. I'm trying to remember everywhere we went, but maybe the red mirrors the blue. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. So we would have to do what we did just kind of backwards. No, I trust backwards. you with full confidence. Right. So I don't go to this one. <laughs> I go to that one. Is that what you're saying? I so we're going to so we'll switch places? Can, you, can yeah. we safely do that? Uh, make, mm. yeah, g- I'll Just have you guys know. make, both make ath- <laughs> oh, no. acrobatics checks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Acrobatics oh, is, okay. You can do it. Oh. Dexterity. Ten. Five. Plus, uh. I have no dex, I have negative one dexterity. Oh, okay, so you also, so you got five, you got ten. You guys both <laughs> attempt. <laughs> And you basically land like that, ah! both <laughs> taking at the same time two points of shock damage. Okay. Nothing serious, but just, ah! uh, okay. okay. Well, we're not doing that again. <laughs> uh, look, it. Uh, I just met you. What's your name again? Hyalene. 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 I got it. Look back at the. She, the lady's just still watching this. Oh, right? she's totally watching you. Yeah. Is she like laughing or smiling? <laughs> no, no, no visible Not expression. Not even amused. Like, she's just ice cold. Did you watch? Do you watch people? Okay, whatever. All right. No so he's smart. back in the game. And he's playing for keeps. 
You take. Oh, son oh. of a. <laughs> Three points of shotgun. <laughs> Poor character. God. <laughs> how much health do I have? Yeah, how much health do you guys have? I lost the same amount as uh, she actually. So. Uh oh. What's your health at? I had. I started with forty hit points. Okay. Well, oh my god. 15. <laughs> You didn't four, know that? I have 14. You're a sorcerer. <laughs> but still, there's literally oh, like goodness. three of me. Oh, man. All right, well, that... Uh... I mean, like, I'm as tall as three of you, so it's yeah, cool. It's all right. <laughs> well, okay. I've been shocked a lot. So I'm going to try... I'm going to go here. Oh, that's where he was, and he didn't yep. get shocked. I'm going to try going right here. Yep. Oh, damn. You okay. lied to me. No, wait, this is what <laughs> I told you. lied to this me. This is what I told you we were going to do. Hi, you lied to me. I'm going to try going right here. Nothing happens. Oh, damn. Okay, fuck me. I'm just gonna watch. So. Alright. I'm gonna try to remember where. Where did I come? I'm gonna try going here. Nothing happens. Here. Nothing happens. Here. You've made it safely across. Yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna follow that path, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm Terry, so I'm gonna go doop. <laughs> there doop. you go. <laughs> oh, <sweet>. and, <laughs> and actually, that one doesn't shock you, believe it or not. Oh, because none, not. none oh. of the first two shocked, oh. so we're good. Oh. Oh. oh, You can you can just see her. Can I give a little from the far back? Oh, Don't patronize me. We got a slow clap though. <laughs> she was watched me electrocuted. Like the There's tips some. of his ears are still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you see her snap her fingers. And the magic field that was placed on the tiles before you seems to die down as she walks. Oh, that's <laughs> just <laughs> salt in the wound. That yeah, right. Can I snap my fingers? <laughs> She's crossing me. <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> the next trial for this in, in the the. Uh, let's okay, see this if I is Indiana Jones. <laughs> you guys end up right here. Oh, you used horoscope. Do we see a door anywhere? You see what appears to be, as you enter this room, you see, the first Wait, thing no, you notice are, are a bunch of symbols on the ground. They're kind of placed sporadically. There's no real rhyme or reason to them that you can see initially. And there are symbols on the walls themselves. The only visible door that you see is the one that you just came out of. Okay, so that Saturn, it has a sickle, I don't remember the triangle. Jupiter, Mars, Oklahoma. <laughs> I wanna snap my fingers. <laughs> no. Nothing happens. Earth, Venus. Is she in here also? She's right behind you. Hmm. Well, I guess, uh... Did she give us any, like... She just showed us the room and we have to figure out a way to get across? Or did she say anything? She hasn't said anything yet. Oh. I'm gonna okay. ask her, like, how do we solve this? Well, that is for you to decide. But before you, you see... Symbols. Mm -hmm. You see symbols on the walls. Mm -hmm. To make it extra interesting, she takes out two amulets. She puts one on you, and you immediately go blind. <laughs> oh! Oh! You see mm -hmm. her whole uh, eyes just in completely get washed over by white. And then she puts uh, <laughs> on you, <laughs> and you lose complete hearing. Everything is silent. At least I can still see. That's great. <laughs> okay, well I can hear, so we can at least like... What? <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. What? <laughs> oh! I can't hear, huh? <laughs> uh, she just kind of gives you a bow. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear. <laughs> Terry. Terry. Okay. Terry. Well, uh, I'm gonna walk my newly blind friend <laughs> to uh, this V, because V from Vendetta. So, <laughs> walk over there. V for Vendetta. All right, let me walk over it. 
Nothing happens. It's wanna, together, right? Wanna, Do I hear anything? <coughs> no. Okay. I want to jump on it. You jump on it. You hear as you're actually feeling him jump yeah. up and down next to you. Did it work? I didn't hear anything. This is like see no evil, hear no evil, isn't it? Hmm. Please. Wanna, hmm. Oh. Yeah, Terry's got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think this is some kind of grid. And we gotta match the grids with the walls and the symbols on the floor. Okay. Associate the the their planets, right? Not yes, if that's a yes planet. Okay. From what I, re- what, I what I recall seeing, yes. What? From what I recall seeing, yes. <laughs> what? I can't hear. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, she's blind. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. So. <laughs> Two means yes. Tap twice, yes. that means yes. Okay, we got a system. Okay, so what does she can talk? <laughs> I can. I know. Terry's not doing right. Um, Terrence, you do notice that there are symbols on the wall there, right? You, can you see them actually? Yep. All right. So we have to match the astrological signs to their designated planets, I believe. Okay. <laughs> Alright, now uh, just tap me which one. <laughs> What's the. <laughs> this is I, wish, fun. I wish I was the blind one. <laughs> okay. Um, do me a little hand symbol for what uh, uh, Mars looks like. Okay, Oklahoma. Okay. <laughs> Oklahoma's Mars. <laughs> Okay, uh, so we'll walk to Oklahoma, Mars. Well, there's Oklahoma, the one she's talking about, and then there's the one that's actually Mars, but which one do you want to? Oh, which I'll, one do you, you I'll guys, do whatever you want I thought it was like, boy. <laughs> so, I mean, technically it is. Oh, it it's is. Male, it but is. Um, you, sit, you stand Damn over Oklahoma. Oklahoma, and nothing happens. Damn it. I'm just going to walk over to this one. I'm just going to walk over all the panels. You all right. S- stay. Okay. You stay. Okay, I'll stay. Walk, nothing. 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 Hmm. Am I allowed to reach Nothing. out and like feel the wall? You hear a door open up. <sighs> okay. You okay. see it. Okay. Right in front of you. <sighs> oh. As. Oh no. Oh, I thought something was coming out. I know. <laughs> I'm going to try to run to the door. As soon as you get off, <laughs> it closes oh. up. <laughs> Duh, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Go to my blind friend. Um. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> and the door opens up once again. I'll be back. Okay. Sucker. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk to the door. All right. In this door, you see before you no no other tiles beyond the one in the far corner with the symbol on it. That's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look the lady and what is she what is she giving me? She's dead today. It's just looking at you. Okay. Alright, okay. Well You hear a door open up. You have no idea where it is though. Did you I heard a door. Did you hear anything? I did. I heard a door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> did you? Did you hear? Oh yeah, I'm deaf. <laughs> <sighs> this sucks. <laughs> you hear the door close back up. Did you hear anything? Oh! 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 She heard something. Hmm. Oh, she's blind. Okay. Door closes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hmm. Am I like wearing any armor? Absolutely. I wanna. Oh, she's blind. This is perfect. I'm gonna strip naked <laughs> <laughs> and lay my clothes on this symbol. All right. <laughs> you hear the door open up once again, it and you see it open up. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, boy. <laughs> 
って。その。As the symbol over there now. Actually, you know, I, I think I did a little bit wrong, but that's okay.、Um, just a little bit. Yeah, that's fine.、Um, just pretend that it's that door that just opened up. Oh, wait, hold on. I know, what, I know what it is. My bad. This is it. That's it. Nope, still wrong. Whatever.、Um, over it. And you're here. So. Alright, l well. Or you put her on that one. And, yeah. And, Now you can see that door has opened up over there. Sucka! <laughs> oh, son of a. Ugh. Ugh. You hear. And the room's beyond. You're not sure exactly where. <laughs> Got anything else to take off? <laughs> All right, I'm going to come back in here. You hear the door closed. I'm going to come back in here. <laughs> <laughs> So、we're、it. good friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> How badly did you want to beat these trials? Well, I. <laughs> just, just tap once if like, you want to pass them, twice if you don't want to pass them. Okay, well,、um, plot twist.、Uh, <laughs> I'm going to need your clothes. Not for anything weird. I just want to open some doors and advance inside those doors. But, like, nothing like that. Like, I'm wearing something <laughs> under my armor, so. Part, yes, yes, I just want the armor. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I'll, I'll turn around, I'll be respectful. <laughs> <laughs> so, I remove my, I remove my helm、mm -hmm. and my breastplate、mm -hmm. and my <laughs> Greek looking、yep. armor skirt. I don't know what they're called. Sure. And、uh, my shin guards. All right. Just、uh, clap when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you're done? Okay. Oh, yeah, it does. It's armor. Yeah. All right. Gonna trot back in. You set the armor still down. Do you hear another door open up? And this is supposed to be the wrong way, but whatever. I'm, I'm over it.、Dude. All right. I'm gonna walk out. I'm gonna stare at this lady who's watching me walk by naked. I'm like, you did this. <laughs> you did this. And then proceed into this room. You see before you two complete suits of armor on、Ooh. armor stands. Now, do they both look very like gender ambiguous, or is one like breastplate? No, th like, this、oh, is just、like. gender ambiguous. Definitely gender, yeah. Okay, just, okay. Just, Which one looks nicer? Like, just、uh, <laughs> what they look like. Make an investigation check. <laughs> Good man. Dang it. <laughs> they're exactly the same. <laughs> well, they're exactly the same to me. I'm gonna. There actually are. There's a.、Um, um, there are clothes beneath it as well, believe it or not. They happen to go with the,、uh, the new set of armor. She knew you were going to get naked.、Uh, this is just a ploy to get you、oh, naked. That's what they want. She's like, I haven't seen a naked man in eons. I'm going to grab some.、Uh, I'm going to put my shirt on first. I'm going to put my shirt on first, kind of person. I'm going to put my shirt on first. <laughs> Suit up armor and everything. And then I'll put on my pants. You're gonna Donald Duck、Free、it for、balls. a little bit? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll put my pants on at the same time. I'm gonna just jump up.、Yeah. I'm not like that. The、everybody. full on suit and, and the, yeah, alright. Yep.、Yeah. Now I'm dressed. I'll carry the rest of the clothes back. Clink, clink, clink. You can hear clink, 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 clink. I got clothes for you. I mean, armor for you. Armor? Yeah. <laughs> you want the. You, if, you I, 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> I, see, I see your lips moving, so I can assume <laughs> that you're like. Do you, Clap if you, you want it. Just clap once. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so,、uh, is it okay if, like, you just, I mean, you, you put your hands up. Just, there you go.、Uh, you can do your shin guard yourself. Here you go. <laughs> put your own pants so, on. <laughs> I'm not your mom. <laughs> we're both、uh, dressed. Fully dressed now with the thing, with the full on armor now. And、um, the helm, the,、um, you still. Have your own personal helm.、Um, she goes again and claps or、uh, snaps once more, and the doors begin to stay open. and You see the, the, the pressions of where you had、uh, your armor and your clothes begin to rise up again. As you can tell, that everything has been、um, reset. Nice. Can we see in here now? Not yet. No, I'll carry、okay, you, you out. You cannot, yeah, you cannot see. So you, you are sure now. Are my clothes still there? Yes. I'm gonna grab my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Can't forget it. <laughs> You're gonna leave your clothes there though? Just take your wallet? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got new clothes. You know what? I'll take, uh, I'll take, uh, All right.、Uh, you, you take your money pouch and you just 
kind of latch it over oh. to your belt. Do you need your money pouch? Yeah. It's still on her. She, she didn't oh. I didn't take my. I didn't get completely naked. Oh, I'll walk in because I don't know this. Just there's not. It's not here. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Well, so is. And I feel like, oh no no. I, I can hear the. I can see the jingle. Yeah. The the woman walks up to you now and takes off the necklace as soon as it passes your face. The sound again. It's kind of loud because you're so used to the the, the silence, and now you can hear everything. You hear the echo throughout the chamber. And you, the color, once again, hitting your eyes. Hi. Hi. Um, nice armor. Thank you, thank wow. you, thank you. Pays to be a uh, in the nude. Uh, <laughs> wait, why don't you take out the necklace? And the, oh, all right, whatever. I'm not gonna overthink that. Want to walk into this room? Is there anything else in here? Um. That's it. That all that that room is pretty much only the two armor stands. Oh, well, okay. I walk back out. Where do we go now, lady? Hogwarts, apparently. <laughs> Good here. <laughs> oh, is that? <laughs> um. In your it? journey, you will know that there are those that don't have a voice, those that cannot be heard, those that cannot see. There are many that will look to your aid as a champion of Athena. She takes the two large amulets, puts them in her large pouch, and she pulls up two other little tiny tokens, coins of the Athenae. Take these coins with you. And she hands you. Uh, me first? No, oh, both at the same time. <laughs> oh, same time. Same time. That's all about yeah. the all right. Same time. Mm-hmm. Okay. Keep them with you as a reminder of these trials. Oh, as you could. Who <laughs> puts it in his wallet? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna spend this. <laughs> you have passed the trials. Well done, both of you. There aren't many that can complete them. There will be other trials in your life. Some that are much far more har- harrowing than these ones. They will test your every might, your every wit. Remember what you have learned here. Be a voice for those who cannot speak. Listen to those who are not heard. And she just gives you a bow. She snaps once more, and the room that you're in becomes a hallway. Long long hallway. You can see a light at the end of the tunnel. She is now disappeared in front of you, and she's on the other end. Toward the light? The other, yeah, towards the light. You never go toward the light. <laughs> That's a basic elf principle. Oh, you're a half elf, you don't know, but that's what we, that's what we, that's what we teach us for elves. Um, Africa, ladies first. Can I perceive anything in the hallway? Roll or in- insight or um, uh, perception. Perception. Nine. Nine. You look around. It's it's similar to the the uh, hallway that you first started your trials in. It seems like the the hallway has now morphed into this one long hall instead of the chambered rooms that you were a part of for the trials. I'm going to carefully step forward. Okay. And start making my way toward her. And slowly mm-hmm. make your way. Following her, I'm gonna give us some distance first, see what happens. But uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep a respectful distance behind. You guys go ahead and make your way. Nothing happens. No stones get pushed down. No shock. You guys make your way fully to the very, very end there, and she's there again, looking at her book. She looks up towards you. Go forward, champions of Athena. Did you have to make the hallway so long? It was but a hallway to begin with. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to bow. She gives you a bow and bows to you too. Terry, it was very nice to meet you. I have a boat I have to catch. But I hope to see you again in the future. Yeah, man. I'm with it. <laughs> <laughs> you exit the temple there and you can hear once more the uh, seagulls cawing out in the distance. 
a couple bells from the boats docked on the uh, harbor there. And you can see Don Ash, Bruiser, <laughs> and Ada running away from a tavern <laughs> where a few patrons are, have kind of angrily and stumbling drunkenly <laughs> walked out looking for them as they're just booking it towards the, uh, the All ship. Right, I'm going to briskly walk towards them. All right. Free time. Are you in the vicinity? Are any of either of you in the vicinity? Or are you already? I'm in the not boat? sure. So she's making her, her way back. Um, where are you? I was going to uh, pick up my parcel, uh, mm-hmm. and if I could ask for directions because I, I don't got time to get lost in the city, uh, could I get directions to a an arcanist? Arcanist, yes. So the you can see several towers in the higher districts there. Uh, near the the rim of the crater, um, a few of them look to be like they might be what you're looking for. You kind of make your way up and down through the alleys and whatnot, and eventually you come up to um, a tower. The bottom stones are similar to the ones that you find uh, in Masthead, mm-hmm. but as after maybe about ten feet of these darkened uh, brown stones, is a um, black ring of stones and then they kind of alternate white, black, white, black, all the way to the very, very top. And the last uh, uh, 20 feet or so are just the, the stark uh, uh, white marble. Wow. The just door a... is closed. <laughs> yeah. Can I... Uh, there can is I... no sign. No sign? No sign. Uh, can I uh, tap, tap, tap? You wait a moment. No answer. Uh, uh, hello? Anybody? People around you are kind of, you know, walking nearby and they give you a glance and beyond the, the barking <laughs> of dogs in the alleys next to you, you don't hear anything on the inside. Um, can I look, can I look around? Are there any, like, windows? Or there? there are windows, but they are at least... They're high up. Yeah, they're high up. Okay, all right. And those actually seem to have um, boarded, uh, uh, they're boarded up a little bit. Okay, all right. Uh, Meaning the, the shutters have, have been closed. Shutters have been closed. Is there anybody, like, down on the street that looks like they might be locals in this area that might there, know how there to... There are uh, several. Uh, they're walking um, around um, the, the tower. Okay. In this area, there are... Um, a lot less of the people that you saw initially in Lower Masthead. Uh, this is kind of a uh, not higher, uh, not upper crust uh, type of people, mm-hmm. but for the most part, there aren't very many people walking around anyway. Here you'll see a few uh, um, well dressed people uh, about their day, going about their day. And uh, pardon me, uh, sir, madam, whatever. Uh, it... A lady. It, Pull, turns around really quickly. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi. Hey there. Hello, madam. Uh, I am looking to procure something from the Arcanist. Uh, would you by any chance know how to She's get their attention? looking at the tower behind you. Oh, that man hasn't been there for a very long time. Oh, oh great. Sorry, and she turns around. Uh, and uh, but would you by any chance know where I could perhaps purchase a uh, Scrolls, magical scrolls, fancy magical scrolls, because I am a fancy magician. I'm sure you are. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> library might actually help you there. We have our archives. Um, you'll have to head up, and she kind of points to that. It's a large building. You can see it's almost like a um, um, like a university uh, building. It's really old, but it's very, very uh, sheer walls, uh, very few windows. But um, you can imagine that that's where she's okay. pointing at. Ma'am, you have been exceptionally helpful. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, sure. And she briskly walks away. Yeah, she and doesn't seem to want to. I, uh, having now gone the wrong direction, am going to book it over to the uh, library. All right. As you do so, you kind of dodging, you know, um, the barrels and whatnot of, of the uh, upper uh, area there, and you eventually make your way to the library. The doors are um, one door is uh, open, and you can still <sighs> see people, kind of like you know browsing uh, various uh, books and whatnot. There's probably about five or so in this huge, 
huge hallway, about three stories t uh, tall. You can see different levels, and um, the stairs that go up towards the second level are to your right and left mm -hmm. as they head on up. And then that tier there is a little bit um, uh, smaller, uh, shorter long uh, lengthwise than the building, um, and the tier above it smaller still. So the building is still the full size, but the this way the big. stairs, yeah, it's huge. Okay, okay. Uh, is there there's a librarian? A, Somebody who there's looks an like old they man who's just kind of standing out uh, near the the door. Um, he kind of like peers into your eyes. Can I help you? Who? Yes. Uh, yeah. Just Catch give your me breath, son. Yeah. Thank you. It's uh, been a while since I got good exercise. Huh? <laughs> I am looking for whoo, a scroll. <clears throat> Would you by any chance have scrolls in uh, the library? We do. In oh, the third tier. God damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you <laughs> make your way all the way by up the to the top. By the time I'm at the top one, I'm yeah, like just pulling drink. myself up the stairs. <laughs> Water. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you do, you get up there and the, the smell of the books is, is quite uh, unique here. It's very almost cozy. You know, you almost want to spend more time here as... Um, you can see one uh, a woman uh, walking in between the aisles there, and uh, the aisles here are shorter, and you can see very, very large uh, tables um, out um. everywhere. There are large tubes that have been like locked up behind um, small little cabinets, and uh, a few scrolls are actually out on, on certain tables with uh, quills and all that, and as you can see her, she's moving into the uh, one aisle comes back out and she has a few little supplies that she's about to set down on the one that's um, unfurled. Excuse me, miss. Oh, and oh I my. <laughs> pull myself to my feet. She's looking around like, security. Sorry, I just I just ran here from the docks. I'm out of shape. Um, but I did have a question. I am looking for a scroll of identify. Scrolls, we have them, yeah. Um, You do, thank you. God. You're Take a load off. Uh, there's a chair there, young man. Oh, um, thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll and go I will just one. collapse and melt into the chair. Mm -hmm. um, you can see she drops the, uh, the supplies that she had on the table next to the one that she was working on because she hadn't reached uh, her table yet. And she just scurries off. And after about five minutes or so minutes, can I she double comes... check and make sure she's not calling security? <laughs> she's not. No. Okay, all right. It's funny. The uh, entrance that you came up seems to be the only way up or down from this level. So, oh. Yeah. And Sounds like a fire hazard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she comes back with a, a, a few uh, um, scrolls, just kind of like opening up and takes a look, and you know, kind of caps it again. And this should, uh, just a moment, this should be in here. And uh, oh, this is empty. <laughs> Throws it on the ground, and she's like, <laughs> uh, small scroll falls, uh, almost falls out completely. She catches it. It has a silver banding around it, tied like a little ribbon. <laughs> Well, that's quaint. She looks inside to see the wording. This is it. Oh. Oh, thank you so much. How much is this going to uh, run me? Fifty gold. Fifty. <clears throat> uh, you know what? I I don't have time to haggle today. I am just gonna reach <laughs> into my pouch and I'm gonna pull out the fifty gold. Thank you so much. Could I trouble you for a glass of water before I leave? I don't have any water up here. Um, as you can see, she, she's actually moving a, a small little jug behind the table. Um, I, um, if you head down to the first tier, perhaps you can ask for directions to a local fountain or a pub. Can I have a drink out of a fountain? You don't exactly look like you belong here. <laughs> I mean, even with the, the, the full-on uh, or rose, you, you you have a stench about you. That's fair enough. Yeah. I've been running stench hard. About you. I've been well, running. I just the, bought a sea hag. You smell I feel like, like you don't belong here. <laughs> it's been a rough couple days, um, but yeah, I think that's that's good. Uh, give her the fifty gold, and I will let myself out. Thank you very much. And I'm going to, as I go down, I'd like to crack the. Uh, the ribbon, and I'd like to see this thing for myself. It's beautifully written, and actually, it uh, seems to be like a, a gold leaf ink, and uh, it's actually signed by like a ma local magistrate and several other uh, um, 
mages, local enchanters of the area. Maybe one that was in that one tower at one point, but you're not too sure. There's several seals down there, several sig signatures, and it seems very, very official, and it seems to be like a, a master copy Good. of the, um, the, the scroll work, so All right. you can go ahead and take that in and do it that way. Going to place that into the haversack. Awesome. Not the wet one that I opened underwater, but one of the other ones. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'll head on back. Okay. And you make your way back to the ship, and uh, you're trolling behind. Yeah. Did you bring Muggsy with you, or his? No, he's been on the ship. I would time. imagine he's okay, on the ship. Okay, then if Muggsy, I'll take Muggsy into my quarters and shut the door, and I'm gonna teach him to hide better because he didn't do a very good job that last time. And I might kind of show him how to pick a lock. I don't think he's very dexterous, but I'm gonna teach him what I can. Okay, sure. Um, make. Did you Muggsy uh, to pick a lock? So what kind of mother are you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm gonna say make an animal handling check for like make sure. a construct handling check. Oh, that's so right side up six. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Uh, well, go ahead, teacher. <laughs> he his his stubby fingers and uh, short hands don't seem to hold on to the things very well as he's trying to like. That's fair. And you're you're practicing with the locks that you have, and he just kind of like he almost. In fact, wants to just grab it and rip he it can off. Do he can yeah. do that. Is Muxy a human or? A Muxy human? is a construct. So he's, he's like, a, he's like a yeah. about a uh, two foot tall uh, golem made out of clay. Um, he's got a green uh, complexion and um, beady, large beady on its eyes. But currently being like passed a off. As a <laughs> currently child. dressed as a sailor. Correct. Yeah. Teeny tiny child. Okay. okay. Well, that. Kind of quizzes it up, all right. <laughs> <laughs> of course, right? Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so you can go ahead and um, make, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll, I'll just, I'll go with that. Um, you, you, you attempt to, mm. to, to teach him. It's going to se seem like a slow process. <laughs> That's um, fair. It, it doesn't really, yeah, he wasn't made <laughs> to break locks. Break them. Break them, not But break not them, yeah. break into them. It's yeah. a yeah. steep learning curve. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Um, but uh, he, he resides with you for the rest of the day, and as you start to uh, hear these sailors head back on on board to their um, their posts and whatnot, and uh, the two hour time limit has basically uh, uh, completed, and um, you can see uh, at the very very end of it all, uh, well uh, you in, in 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 direct tow, but Donash, <laughs> Ada, and Bruce are just. Booking it. Go, 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 launch, go, go. <laughs> and like, people are like, oh, bruise it not again, man. And they, they immediately throw off the uh, um, the mooring lines and the sails begin to unfurl. Um, at some point, when they, I know the captain is kind of watching, I'm going to mm -hmm. make a show of pretending to be secretive about it, but make sure he sees it. And I'm going to, I'm assuming you showed uh, Trixie the package. Or yeah, right. yeah so she'll kind of make the like. As you yeah. head over. I kind of have the same Still thoughts on yeah. seeing the yeah. captain mm -hmm. in the background. I'm just going. And, and, and the, the captain is, is, is looking at you, but he's not like uh, um, peering into you. you know? yeah. he, he's more like he's acknowledging the fact that you're uh, now heading back mm -hmm. on board, and he's just going to kind of give you a little bit of a, a nod. And, you I'll know, still it. He's, he's kind of looking over some notes anyway um, as they head on uh, past it. And you can see uh, uh, Ada and Don Ash begin to head downstairs as he's feeling a little bit better, but not uh, not entirely. So he's just gonna try to maybe <laughs> ride this one out. Um, the sails again unfurl and the ship begins to Has we forward. Have we made it onto the ship? You, you said I'm okay. pretty yeah. sure, yeah, okay. I, I don't think they're leaving without. <laughs> no, no, yeah. yeah. You, you, okay, all right, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm at a slow pace. Believe it or not, you apart, actually yeah. make it before everyone okay, else. Okay, good, all right. You're in, in direct tow of, uh, um, you're, after seeing uh, Don Ash uh, run out of the, 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 the local uh, watering hole, as uh, Ando put it, um, you can see that it's probably a good time to, to run. Now, the drunkards have kind of like stumbled and they, they lost um, their momentum and they realize that as, you know, the, the, the two that are left, they look back and they don't have their <laughs> manpower, they begin to just kind of like deflate and head back. So, oops, sorry. As we leave, Trixie would like to make a perception check or try and look to see if she sees the pirate ship. Okay. See if it followed. All right. Nine. She sees uh, the um, the the first mate will actually see you, kind of like looking out, and goes, "They wouldn't head this close to land. They know better. Plus, it was just the one ship." So I've given uh, you the package. I've done little bounds, and here you are, Lady El Trisha. It was no trouble at all. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to walk over to Mr. Jingles 
I say, Mr. Jiggles, hmm? I got <clears throat> your presents. And I hand him the little bag with the kaleidoscope. And I said, I, I saw you looking for a telescope. You wanted to have a telescope earlier. <laughs> so I got you this instead. I thought you might enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you, Amalfia. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see any worse than the magnifying glass. <laughs> you go take it out and you pour it. I'm going to majestic. It's a vision of light <laughs> Now, the funny thing is it doesn't actually, like, collapse at all. It's just a, a fixed length. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. You're like... <laughs> but you notice that it, it, the, the end piece does rotate on its axis, so... And you're, you point it out to see, and you don't see shit. <laughs> except for a beautiful dichroic glass at the very end, refracting the, the light off, um, the blue light off the ocean into reds and greens and yellows and, and all different colors of the, uh, all of the whole spectrum. <laughs> it's Pride Parade Day. It's perfect. Aww. <laughs> now, I'm going to keep this. Yes. All right. Is it as mine I think now. you have enough room when you have a sack. I do. <laughs> I'm actually, you know what? I'm actually going to put it on my sash. I'm going to put it All on right. my belt. Yep, I'm going to have it on my hip. Now, now it looks, it looks <laughs> like it could be a fancy spyglass. Sure. Right? And it came with a little bag, so you were able to kind of wrap it around your belt. Excellent. So, around basically your the, the bowl that you mm -hmm. have, right? Yeah. Do you actually have a belt beyond that? Oh, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's a big and, gaudy belt. All right, awesome. <laughs> I, I, I know the type. I cosplayed the type. <laughs> okay, uh, I guess you had a, another question or... No, that, okay. was, that was it. Is it possible? Mm -hmm. Is she back on the boat yet? She's up. She's back on the boat now. I'm going to run to the edge of the dock. I just <gasps> sell them off. All right. Uh, and uh, you kind of like, you know, you, you hear the, the, the kerfuffle out uh, where the, uh, the, the pub was and you see people running away and you saw... The very very end glimpse of her running over to where the boat was. She mentioned the the docks herself, so you kind of like do a little bit of a hustle, and you can see the the boat moving, unmoored from its lines, about to head on out. And you're the the end of the dock is still far far off, but you can see them kind of like moving on, and you're able to catch up to the the ship itself. So. <laughs> <laughs> You around. sound, you, you hear a sound that sounds familiar. You're not entirely sure what he, it said, but you, you I, I recognize the voice, mm -hmm. yes. I want to reach into my satchel. I have a satchel. Too. I oh. satchel. Oh. I'll put an object and try to throw it onto the deck for her. All right, make a <laughs> dexterity check. All right. A football with game. advantage, with advantage. You're, you're, you're not. Right. Well, uh, I rolled twice for that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, thank God. Because that was... <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. That was negative one. That's great. <laughs> That's ten. Ten oh. is just what you needed. Oh. Yeah, good stuff. Now, you hear it, and you hear the... <laughs> and you look over to the uh, starboard side, and you see something just barely hit the, the ledge and then fall down onto the deck. Now, it's, it begins to roll, perchance, a little bit? It's a... Uh, it's... It's in it's in a cloth. It's in a cloth. A okay, cloth so it just kind of plops All down. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and, and grab it. All right, you grab it really quickly before it does yes. roll off the ship. And it's a Bible. <laughs> and I look at it. And I look up at you. I'm like, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I open it. <laughs> And is it saying, is there anything specific? It's, no, it's the Bible. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he wrote a message or something in it. Or I oh, don't know, oh, yeah. last page. <laughs> okay, so it's a, the last page. <laughs> and it's like, uh, keep in touch. Your friend. <laughs> <laughs> so, have a have bitch a in nice summer. summer. <laughs> <laughs> have a great summer. Uh, sending you thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Close to me and I just I wave. I, I like this the answer there. I'm yeah. almost gonna make that canon there where he's kinda like he's he's a crate, puts his leg on it, and he just kinda like looks at you. I, I'm gonna draw that. That's gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright, as you now watch the ship move off out of the harbor, out of the large bay there, and go off into the distance there. <laughs> we'll go back about my life. Alright. <laughs> Uh, Who was that? A high level of law? <laughs> <laughs> a friend I met at the temple. Oh. Do you not notice anything different? 
Oh. 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 I got shinier. <laughs> wow. Yeah, wait a second. What does this armor look like? It, yes. So, uh, emblazoned on the very, very front is an owl. Mm-hmm. Full on gilded work, hammered uh, and uh, repose on the pauldrons themselves. Uh, in, in both of them would have had us too. Um, uh, again, the owl motif. Mm-hmm. And. And um, you still have your other armor with mm-hmm. you, and so your shield is still a part of you. But um, the helm is the same mm-hmm. as the one that she's been wearing, and uh, her shield is the same. But the the breastplate, the the pauldrons, and the greaves are now um, beautifully. Um, so uh, everywhere on the edges, you can see a little bit of gold uh, oh. workings and whatnot. It's not actual gold; it's just like the brass, but but it's golden still. I can't even wear it. I would die. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't even know how to put it, it on. <laughs> how did you... I Where took, did you... I took my oath. That's a thing they I give you that for? I can take an oath. Well, no, you had to pass trials. And I, and Terry, my friend, and I passed. Terry? Yeah. Terry. Here's Terry. That? Terry was the gentleman on the, the other paladin. The one who threw me the Bible. He was striking a rather <laughs> heroic pose. The, 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 he, the, the, he, the, the pink guy? He was very heroic in the trials. But he can't just call him Pete. Pete. He were here right now. <laughs> 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 Sorry. It's a value free description. It looked to me from afar like he was a shade of pink. <laughs> it was a nice shade of pink, and yes, that was I, pink. Yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> and so many levels of this conversation else? right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful. Yeah. Uh. So how did you meet him? How did you meet this? Guy? I went to the temple to pray, and he was there. And right. the what we call her a nun, the lady, the she was a priestess. Priest, the priestess, I should know that. <laughs> Uh, the priestess had prepared his trial and asked mm-hmm. if I was there to take mine, and since it wasn't going to take that long, I said yes. Is that easy? You just walk into the temple and you're like, oh, let me take it out. Does she look like she's been zapped a thousand times? <laughs> there is actually a have, little bit of damage. like, yeah. I still have damage. There is uh, definitely uh, so like, like that like, darkened yeah. ozone, uh, you know, from, yeah. from when you get uh, um, shocked and all uh, that. There's a little bit of like carbon scoring on her. Like they, hey, you can't Jay, go, just you got walk, I mean, you can just walk in, but it hurts. If you step on the wrong tile. Yeah, I think Jingles is going to just kind of, you got a little something on your cheek, and it's just going to kind of, <laughs> there you go. You know, it's got a little it. bit of, like, charcoal on you from the zapping. <laughs> and and so you, you complete these trials, and they give you a fancy suit? Yes, they give you a fancy suit, and also you take your oath in which you swear to uphold the values of Athena. Do you only do it once, or do you have to do this like every time we go to a fort city? No, no, not every time. <laughs> what are so the what values? That? Sorry. Oh, what are the values of Athena? Uh, to up. So the yeah, well, the the Bible that she has are actually the tenets of Athena. It's a smaller. It's not exactly you know the Book of Hopi or the uh, the Book of the Hopi. Book of Hopi. <laughs> I meant the Book of Mourning, but it's, it's an inside joke between, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, it's, it's not like a Bible where it's got, you know, the cross on it or whatever. It's a small little, like, like almost a pamphlet. Yeah. And where it has the... The, the Jehovah's of, Witness, oh. sort of. <laughs> yeah. I won't be knocking on doors, don't okay. worry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you have to do anything else? Like, do you have to now, like, belong to a temple or do, like, rituals no. and stuff? No. Well, I, I will temporarily go into meditation and... and pray right but uh, as far as belonging to a temple that i have i don't have to go to regular services or anything like that no huh. interesting i'll clarify that it's uh it's not the correct bible it's uh <laughs> it's just a rant i was kind of in a rush as a grab <laughs> first religious looking textbook i can find <laughs> all right hold on hold on <laughs> the quran <laughs> yeah, it's like, awesome ah, this, looks, this looks about right it's just a book on uh, uh how to tie knots <laughs> I want a boat, and that can be very useful. There you go. So, oh. thank you, Terry. <laughs> there you go. This is better than flippy floppies. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, the, the, the knots are, are pretty much a uh, uh, standard, uh, like, you can use them in, in anywhere. They're not so much sailing knots, but you can find a few in there. But oh, I'm going to read A multi-purpose uh, is... knot, yeah. Can I just... This is useful. Uh-huh. Sure. Extension yeah. on my inscription at the end. 
<laughs> it's like, let's not be strangers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very violent. You got it. That's what it says. Yes. You're at KIT, though. Keep in touch. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like KIT, let's not be strangers. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, awesome. All right. Have a bitching voyage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And the ship sails onward now with a new heading um, mm-hmm. that uh, Donish had uh, given to him, uh, given to the uh, the navigator. Is it in the same general direction that we saw the Quintessa? Oh, did, yep. did the Spirit of Quintessa leave already? It's already yeah. been left. Yeah, okay. it was actually yeah. on. The, uh, they it's got a two-hour head start on this. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And it, it seemed to be full sail and uh, already far off into mm-hmm. the um, <clears throat> the. Uh, Can we still see it? No, no, oh. no. It's it's it's, it's, it's a ways gone. away. It's a fast ship. But you guys are now heading towards a storm. You guys were alongside it before this uh, this new heading, uh, uh, heading west now. You're heading right into the, the storm. But and that s- means that so are they, right? Yes. Yep, they're now ahead of that. <laughs> That's all I like, care about. We might be screwed, but so yeah, are they. That's right. I'm not going down the Are they heading into the storm as well? Like, is the storm between us, or is it? are they also going into the storm? Well, it... it Right now, it's probably about, uh, I would say, maybe 30 miles off the coast, but it's still large enough that you can see. Well, okay, maybe not about that far. Uh, I would say maybe like 10 miles off the coast, but it's, mm-hmm. it's huge. And these, these clouds go way up, mm-hmm. and it, they darken the entire uh, horizon. Is this, I mean, this so is like hurricane status storm? It, it, it seems to be, um, the waters are choppy even where you're at, okay. where the, the dock was too. The boat was still oh, moving. Poor Don Ash is going to be miserable. Yeah, yeah he is. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps he, he had acquired something in the pub that helped yeah. with it. Who knows? Um, we'll see when he comes back. <laughs> uh, and, and so we're going to go ahead and end tonight's session. Mm-hmm. However, I w- wanted to say really quickly, uh, thanks to One Quiet Bear for winning the D4. It'll be Ooh. shipped out to you. Hey! Hey! One Quiet Bear. bear. One quite bare. Um, for just the, uh, to kind of end cap it, the ship will go out into the sea. You can you you, you heard enough talk from the sailors that they are going to be basically getting uh, rough seas and to basically batten down the hatches, etc. They're going to mm-hmm. prepare for this. So, so we are going through it. We're going yep. through it. Mm-hmm. I'm. G- uh, can I just go straight to my cabin and start reading that scroll? You may. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, yeah. Um, I'm gonna go see if the crew needs help with the rigging. Me too. Okay. But that would not look to you. Man, I am going to. Some money. I'm going to be flipping through my book. I know we need to. All right, you two will will head uh, head on up, and you know, uh, Bruiser was actually kind of there, you know, manning the ropes as well. So you're gonna kind of join him. Um, and uh, I'm just will just be on deck, kind of looking out in the direction of the spirit of Quintessa. All right. Uh, they they make sure that it's mandatory that you are now lifelined onto the uh, the local. Uh, She'll allow that. Yeah. Uh, she values her life. <laughs> Everyone seems to have it now as they kind of head over yeah. into the, the storm. And Muggsy. Mm, is he up? Is he topside? No, he's not topside. No, right? I just want to make sure. Okay, yeah. just for people yeah. on topside. Okay, yeah. all right. I just want to make I, sure. I imagine that you're not going to bring him up. Uh, yeah, no, even I'm, though he can help. Uh, he's got makeup on. There's I'm keeping him, I'm keeping him <laughs> below deck. I just want to make sure if everybody's getting lifelines, I want to make sure that he gets one. Too. Understood. Understood. <laughs> yeah, you don't want him singing to the. That's because he's going <laughs> to sing. <laughs> He's a rock. It's <laughs> literally literal, a rock. Literal rock. It's a little child-shaped rock. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they all? Uh, I'm not a bad father. Keep telling yourself that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for putting up with all yeah. of our uh, Tech- technical yeah. difficulties earlier. Um, hopefully, this won't happen again. Uh, it's really all dependent on the equipment. So. Yep. Yeah, uh, we're gonna be looking to uh, other options uh, down the road. Um, obviously, if things pick up, yeah, and, the better we do, the, the better, better do, the stuff gets. The better the stuff gets. So make make sure to you know to share, to to uh, do all the hashtags, all the retweets and reblogs and whatever everyone else is doing. I don't really know. Three quants. The what? Three quants. The what? Three quants. 
That's a thing? No, I spit no. it out. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Be sure to read console, too. I, you had me like, I don't know this one. Like, I'm going to look this up. <laughs> that's going to be, the, that's that's gonna be the next thing, though. That's it. He you just watched. Created. Yeah, yeah. Quonsole. yeah. Quonsole. Everyone's Quonsole. Yeah. yeah. Everyone's Quonsole. It's the quantum that's console. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, stay tuned for the... N oh, actually, we're going to have... I'm going to try to have a rebroadcast. So for those who missed the first part... Um, we'll have it back up again in, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, an hour or so. It takes an hour for me to drive home, so. And then I'll try to <laughs> upload it really quickly. All that good stuff. Anyway, uh, take care, guys. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, bye. We'll bye. see you next week. Bye, guys.